Again with a disturbing story in Fairfax County, we're learning a middle school counselor was allowed to work even though he was convicted of a sex crime involving a minor. I'm Leslie Foster. The school district just fired this counselor, but it apparently was notified of his arrest nearly two years ago. There's a lot to examine here. Our John Henry is live in Fairfax County to walk us through the timeline of what we know. John. Hi, Leslie. Yeah, that timeline is turning a lot of heads, specifically due to all the events regarding uh, the, the arrest of Darren Thornton. This story starts in the summer of 2020. Fairfax County Public Schools hires 50-year-old Darren Lamar Thornton to work as a counselor at Glasgow Middle School. Then, just a few months later, authorities in Chesterfield County arrest Thornton for offering money to a minor for sex. Literally the next day, court records show, police there alert former Fairfax Superintendent Dr. Scott Brabant of Thornton's arrest. Now, fast forward to March 2022. Authorities convict Thornton on the sex crimes charge. He gets five years probation but he keeps his job with Fairfax Schools. Three months later, Brayband leaves Fairfax to become the executive director of the Virginia Association of School Superintendents. Around the same time, Chesterfield police arrest Thornton again for soliciting sex from adults online. The department alerts Fairfax Schools again, who ultimately placed Thornton on administrative leave without pay. In July, Dr. Michelle Reed becomes Fairfax School Superintendent and learns of Thornton's history. She then moves to fire Thornton last week before launching a third party investigation. Part of the responsibility of the third party investigator is, is to put together both a fact pattern and a timeline of events in terms of who knew what, when, and then what did they do about it. Some Fairfax parents have questions too. And if this information was available to leadership or administration and they sat on it, that may bring up some more questions from parents. It's clear that um, based on everything we now know that uh, this is a breach of trust for our community. Now it's unclear if Thornton was working from his listed address in Richmond this entire time. Dr. Reed says, meanwhile, a report from the third party investigator and an uh, investigating attorney could be released in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, we also reached out to Dr. Brayband, who once again is in a new role. Unfortunately, we have yet to hear back from him. Leslie? Yeah, somebody dropped a ball and this is not the end of this story at all. John, thank you.